What's up everyone, this is Jared Production X, and today I have a tutorial on how to improve your battery life on iOS 7. There are some minor things that you could change in your settings that can dramatically improve the battery life of your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So I'm going to show you guys all of those. The first two are going to be the most obvious ones, which is you just want to be canceling all your apps whenever you have the chance or you're not using them. When you have more apps running in the background, it just causes your phone to use more battery, so you don't want to use that. The second thing is you don't have your brightness all the way, so we're going to dim that down to a reasonable thing. And you want to make sure that auto brightness is checked as well. Besides those two obvious ones, I have a bunch of different ones that dramatically increase the battery life as well. The first one, you want to go into your settings, go into general, and then you want to go to background app refresh. Now you just want to go through this and use the ones that you want running in the background of your device so if you don't use the app uncheck it the best case scenario is just to click on cancel all of them and disable all of them the next one you want to go into is privacy you want to go all the way down to the bottom and you want to check and make sure it's on for lemon ad tracking the next one is in privacy you want to go to location and services you want to make sure that it is on and then just check the ones that you need so for this, I'm just going to use Google Maps. Then after that, you want to go to the bottom and click System Services. And once you get to this page, you want to unclick Diagnostic and Usage and Limit and Location-based iAds. This is uh, the first one is just going to send any problem and send it to Apple, which is going to use your connection and data, which therefore is going to reduce your battery. Then after that, you want to go to Frequent Locations, and I just turned mine off because I'm not going to be using that. And if you're not in a big town, I would also recommend turning off traffic. The next one is you want to go into Safari, and you want to click on Do Not Track. Make sure it is green. The next one is Wallpaper, and if you're using a dynamic wallpaper that moves in the background, it's going to use a lot more memory than a still. And you either just click the ones that Apple give you, or you can select your own. After that, you want to go into iTunes and App Store uncheck updates and use cellular data. With unchecking this, now it's not going to do an automatic update and if you have a lot of apps, this is going to be using a lot of battery because your phone's going to be constantly updating. If you don't use your mail too often, I would suggest just going into mail and you want to turn push to off so every time you open up your mail, you're going to have to manually update it. This is going to save a lot of battery so your phone's not constantly searching for new emails every 10 minutes or half hour or whatever you have it set to. In the notification center, you're going to want to turn off everything that you don't use. So if you don't use the calendar or stocks, you want to turn that off. So then when you go down to your notifications, it's not going to be constantly updating what you have scheduled or your apps. Another key thing with battery is you want to always make sure that you're up to date with the current software. There's usually some bug fixes that drain your battery, so with the new software update, it's going to refresh it. Another key tip for your battery is if you're not using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, make sure to turn that off. And if you do use Wi-Fi pretty often, make sure it is unchecked for Ask to join networks. The last two are pretty simple. Another tip is just go into General. Go into About. After you go into About, you're going to scroll all the way down. I'm just going to cover up some key information and then click right here. Then from here, click on Do Not Send. Now this is, if you have any problems with your phone, it's going to automatically send to Apple. And that's going to use up more of your internet, so you just want to click and uncheck that for Do Not Send. Well, that's it for my key tips on how to save battery on iOS 7. i got tons of more videos covering iOS 7, and I have tons more videos in the future covering iOS 8. If you did notice a big improvement in your battery, please tell me down below. Or if you have any other tips suggesting on how to get better battery life, leave a comment down below as well. I'll see you guys in the next one, and this is Jared Production X, signing off. Peace.